A section of farmers from Kisumu have proposed privatization as the lifeline for reviving the country's moribund sugar sector. The farmers, largely drawn from the Miwani belt, laid blame on the state for failed promises in reviving the Miwani sugar factory. And as Laura Otieno reports, the cane farmers also shared proposals they believe will revive the sector. Just two weeks after the parallel sugar task force was conceived in Kisumu, the Farmers Driven Task Force, chaired by former Kenya Sugar Board Chair Saulo Busolo, landed in Kisumu for a farmers' consultation exercise at the Miwani Nucleus. Farmers drawn from Kisumu and the border county of Nandi converged at the Miwani Catholic Church to give their views on the solution to the turbulent waves rocking the sugar sector and a solution tailored to the main problem, which was the closure of the Miwani sugar factory, was tabled. problem is that Miwani is one. Mwaka nenda, mwaka rudi. Investors, siyo kusema wako. Investors, they are there. The problem is the pricing. The Miwani Sugar Factory, which is currently under receivership, has gobbled up 28 billion shillings in debt that led to the company's closure in 2001. The Privatization Commission had in 2017 proposed selling a 51% stake of five state-owned millers in a bid to revive the beleaguered millers. The farmers also concerned over dubious weighing skills which they said are used by millers to rob unsuspecting farmers. This, in addition to the opposition of zoning as recommended by the national and county governments. Farmers have also endorsed the construction of a way bridge within Miwani uh, by West Kenya and they do, not any they do not want any politics around that, West, that way bridge by West Kenya because they believe the way bridge by the West Kenya Sugar Company has come to save them. The state-led sugar task force co-chaired by Agriculture CS Mwangi Kunjuri and Kakamega Governor Weekly for Paranya postponed its public participation forums until farmers are paid the 2.7 billion shillings owed to them by state millers. The parallel task force, however, is expected to tour the Rift region and Kwale before forwarding their report to the president in two weeks' time. Laura Tieno, Citizen TV.